The Gila monster is the largest lizard in the United States. The Gila monster is not just the largest lizard in the United States. It's one of four North American lizards that are venomous. The others are species of Mexican beaded lizards that are found in Guatemala and Mexico. Despite its venom, the Gila monster is a rather lethargic animal and is not dangerous to humans. Found in the Mexican Sonora and the southwestern United States, its conservation status is near threatened. A group of Gila monsters is called a lounge. They go into a state called brumation, which is hibernation for cold blooded animals. They store fat in their tails. This allows them to fast for months. The Gila monster has high, aerobic scope values. This means they take in and use oxygen very quickly from a resting state to a state of maximum exertion. This allows the normally sluggish lizard to enjoy periods of intense activity. The Gila monster has grooves in its teeth through which it injects venom. Though there seem to be no records kept of the largest giant Gila monster, the animal can grow to 22 inches long and weigh 4 pounds. Though this makes it a hefty reptile, it's still smaller in size than its cousins, the beaded lizards. The size of these animals can be as much as 36 inches long, and they can weigh close to 9 pounds. However, the Gila monster is more colorful. Its patterned hide is thought to be a type of camouflage that hides the animal from both predators and prey. Though it's hard to tell male and female monsters apart, the heads of males tend to be more massive and have more of a triangular shape. The Gila monster is notable for its skin. Like other reptiles, its body is covered in scales, but the scales bear tiny, round bones called osteoderms. These osteoderms are found everywhere on the animal but its belly and the skin forms patterns of yellow or pink against black. The legs, feet, neck, head, and chin of the animal are also black, as are its eyes and tongue. The patterns on the lizard's hide grow more complex as it ages, though Gila monsters in the northern part of the range tend to hold on to the pattern they had as juveniles. Like fingerprints, no two of these animals have identical scale patterns. Like other lizards, the animal sheds its skin as it grows. Females are notable because they shed their skin in one large piece in the fortnight before they lay eggs. The males shed their skin piecemeal, and younger Gila monsters seem to shed all the time. These lizards are usually solitary and spend much of their time secreted in burrows. They will come out to hunt and warm themselves in the sun. Males have been known to fight for mating rights during the breeding period. Like sumo wrestlers, the one who pins his rival to the ground wins. Otherwise, the reptile is considered docile. The lizard's habitat is found in the deserts and dry places of southern Nevada and California's San Bernardino County. It's also found in southwestern Utah, southern and western Arizona, the southwest part of New Mexico, and down into Sonora and Sinaloa in Mexico. Elevations range from sea level to 4,921 feet. Though it is a creature of the desert, the lizard needs to live near a steady supply of water. During the dry season, the lizard emerges from its shelter in the morning. During the summer it may emerge at night when the air is warm but after the dangerously hot sun has set, for it needs to maintain a body temperature of about 86 degrees Fahrenheit. If it gets too hot, the lizard can lower its temperature by expressing water through its cloaca, a ventral opening through which they both excrete and reproduce. The lizard doesn't migrate but moves from one shelter to another every few days. Besides underground burrows, these shelters can be crevices and thickets. The animal isn't fussy when it comes to diet. They can go months without eating and only needs a few meals a year to stay healthy. 
The lizard's diet includes the young of mammals such as rabbits, ground squirrels, and mice. It also takes other lizards, insects, eggs, snakes, frogs, and birds that are small enough for it to handle. The lizard is not above eating carrion. More interesting facts about their diet. Young Gila monsters are capable of ingesting prey that is half their body weight at one sitting. Adults can ingest prey that's about a third of their body weight. The animal finds prey through an exquisite sense of smell and like a snake has a forked tongue that can pick up molecules of a particular scent. The tongue sends the molecules to the Jacobson organ, whose opening is in the top of the lizard's mouth. The lizard can then tell what kind of prey it is pursuing. The Gila monster has no problem climbing trees, cacti, or walls in search of a meal. Like a snake, the Gila monster can swallow its prey whole, sometimes while it's still alive. It will crush the prey to death if it's too large to swallow. Right after it eats, the Gila monster will search for more prey. A Gila monster that's kept in captivity shouldn't be given raw, store-bought eggs because of the risk of salmonella poisoning. They should be given water to drink, but it should not come in so large a container that it tempts the lizard to bathe in it. The animal might be so enamored of a soak that it won't want to do anything else.